should I put it? Should I put it like in the hood? Yeah. Oops, he's right there. Or up there. Put it up there, yeah. We're gonna do uh, just a partial wrap on this thing. We're gonna do some stripes up against the front, company's logo, company's logo, and then right here is where all the butter is. There's gonna be some nice topographic uh, design here with a little bit of a uh, color contrast. We're gonna wrap uh, probably from like this back door all the way to the back, and then the back hatch just flow nice and well. We're gonna have to start removing stuff to make sure everything is looking clean. This is a partial wrap. The customer wants like a black stripe in the front with their yellow, their specific yellow stripe. Just for more, for branding purposes, it, it's, a, it's a yellow stripe that matches their brand, their, their logo. So we're gonna have a nice little yellow accent right here and it's gonna complement the rest of the design. But we're starting off with this section and then we're gonna move on to the rest. So this customer, um, we usually don't do this, but he's a good friend of mine. What he ended up doing is he get he got these like aftermarket horns because he doesn't like the little girl. Sorry, no, no offense, but like the little weak horn that these cars come with. He tried wiring it himself and uh, didn't have a good experience. So cleaning it up for him and uh, making sure that his car doesn't catch on fire. That's what we're doing: troubleshooting and fixing other people's problems. That's what we do best. on fire because you think you did it right and uh, yeah very dangerous hood stamp time baby take that metal piece off that front and we're gonna put a piece of vinyl up there just to protect the roof from damage. So the reason why we developed or we designed the roof shield is because people that install aftermarket roof racks, they have a low profile rack. As you can tell right here, this section right here, you can see all these little rocks that get stuck in between the rubber and your vehicle. If you guys are on the trail or even doing any type of long distance highway miles, the vehicle is going through vibrations and friction and it's causing all that friction and vibration to transfer to your vehicle. 
it's gonna cut through your paint. I've seen it really, really bad where it just leaves a nice rust line. So we made the roof shield that wraps from the front of your windshield about 10 inches back creates a protective barrier between the rubber seal and your vehicle. This video is going to show you guys how to install that. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, enjoying the content. Like you saw in the video, we did a bunch of stuff. We're all over the place during the week. Uh, we're doing wraps, we're doing <laughs> installs, but we love what we're doing. One thing that uh, I wanted to mention is that next week is going to be really short. I'm getting surgery on my hand, so not a lot going on, but we showed you how to install a roof shield. If you guys need any of those products, we do sell them on our website, so feel free to go check them out. Reach out if you have any questions. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. That helps us know that you guys are interested in the content and we'll be more, more motivated to produce uh, more content and videos for you guys. If you guys have any questions, comment in the comment section or send us an email, a DM, whatever you want. Send a freaking pigeon. Ah, damn it, I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> Hold on, she's calling. Yo.